Have you ever wondered how top tier companies are able to create massive email engagement without ever lifting a finger? Well, today I'm going to pull back the curtain on that mystery. Okay, imagine this. You wake up in the morning, grab a cup of coffee. There's a flood of subscribers all actively engaging with your brand. No, this isn't a dream. This is what will happen if you automate your email marketing using BotPress. Stick around and I'll show you how to turn this vision into a reality. So what is this secret sauce? It's BotPress, a conversational AI platform that's as easy to use as it is powerful. With BotPress, you can create support bots that not only handle customer queries, but manage the entire email marketing campaign. We're talking about bots that can segment your audience, send targeted emails, and even analyze engagement metrics. Now, with all that being said, I'm gonna jump right into showing you how to build one of these bots by yourself. Okay, so in order to follow along with this tutorial, you're gonna need a BotPress account and a Zapier account. I have a link in the description to create a BotPress account. It is an affiliate link, so if you use it, it helps me out. If you don't, I'll never know. So once you go to BotPress.com, this is what it looks like. Once you sign in, your dashboard will look like this. You probably won't have pre-built bots here because I built those. So if you have them, we have a bigger issue. If not, that's fine. Now go ahead and click create chat bot. BotPress will take a second to load and then pull up a congratulations message saying you created your first chat bot. Uh, go ahead and click edit. Next, I give you a couple options here. For this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and click on start from template and I'll scroll down and click basic or empty bot. Click that and click say hello to your chat bot. BotPress will get our bot ready and then give us absolutely nothing to start with. So up in the top left here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on explore bot templates. There's a lot of different bot templates that you can choose from. However, for this tutorial, we're gonna go down to the very bottom and click virtual assistant template. I'll select that one and select use this template. It'll restart my workspace and give me this to begin with. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this if user wants human here and we're gonna add our own intent in a second. So I'll disconnect this node from the create ticket node and we have something that looks like this. Next, I'm gonna to come to the assistant node, click add a card. Here, I'm gonna add an intent to this card. I'm gonna drag this intent up. An intent card is basically telling your chatbot, if the user wants this, then follow this workflow. So here, I'm gonna click on this card and under intent is, I'm gonna type User wants a human. After that, I'm going to connect this intent card that we just created to our create a ticket node. So now when our bot decides that the user wants to talk to a human is when we're going to automate sending an email to them. So in our create a ticket node, I'm going to add a card to capture some data. Here for our tutorial, I'm gonna capture the user's email address. Our bot can say something like, what is your email? And then after that, we're gonna select create a variable. Here we're gonna type in user's email. You'll wanna type it just like this if you don't wanna to have to tweak the code any more than I show you in this tutorial. But after we've typed lowercase users capital email, we'll come down and select the second to bottom option create user's email variable. This is the variable that's gonna hold our user's email so that we can automate sending them a message. Next, I'm gonna add another card and this is gonna be an execute code card. I'll select that and I'll edit the code. I have the code that I'm about to paste in a link in the description of this video so you can go and copy and paste it yourself. 
Basically what this code does is it reaches out to a webhook that we build on Zapier so that anytime the bot reaches out to that webhook, Zapier will automatically send that email to our user. So here we'll come over to Zapier and once you log in, you probably won't have any zaps already created. However, I do. So just ignore that. Come up to the top left and click create a zap. I'm going to ignore this beta feature that Zapier has right now. And I'm going to click on our trigger. On the bottom right, we're going to select webhook. It is a premium feature. However, you get a very long trial with Zapier and it's only $20 a month if you want to deploy it live for a client for a long amount of time. So I'm going to come over to the right and under our event, I'm going to select this drop down and we're going to click catch hook. We'll click continue and we'll click continue. Next, Zapier is going to be waiting for us to send something to this hook. So I'm going to copy this URL that they provided me, come back to BotPress, and in the code where it says replace me, I'm gonna paste that URL inside of the quotes. I'll close that, and now we can test our bot and test our webhook. So in the emulator, I'll select new conversation. We can say hi to our bot, and then say human. The bot will ask us what our email is. We can say diz at me.com. Then our bot will execute that code and the conversation will end. We'll come back to Zapier and click test trigger. Next, we'll, we should see in request A that the email that we just provided our bot is listed here on our webhook. We'll continue with the selected record. And this is where we're going to tell Zapier what we want to do with that email after it's been sent. I'll select Gmail because we want to automate sending an email. Under event, I'll so scroll down and click send email. Click continue and click continue. If you don't have your Gmail already linked to your Zapier account, there's a couple quick steps that it'll walk you through how to do that. Next, we're going to go to and we're going to select email diz at knee.com. This is the email that we received from our webhook. So we'll select that and that's who our email is going to go to. Then we'll scroll down in the subject. We're going to say inquiry. Hopefully that's how you spell it. If it's not, make fun of me in the comments. But then we'll continue on to our body. Our body, we're going to say, hey. Thanks for reaching out. Those are all the required fields that we need to make this automation work. Next, we'll click continue and we'll click test step. We should get a response saying that the email was sent. However, in my email, I'm probably going to get a response saying there is no email such as dizatme.com. If somebody has it, good for you. You just got an email from me. Next, we'll simply click publish. Just like that, we have our bot automatically sending an email to somebody once it has harvested their email address. So now we can test the live automation. I'll come back to the emulator. I'll select new conversation. Here on the right, we have access to the email address that I'm about to give it. And here we can also see that this failed to deliver to dizatme.com. So here I'm in the inbox. I'll start a new conversation. We'll say hi. We want a human. And I'll provide the bot with an email that we have access to to make sure that it's working. I'll hit submit. The bot will execute the code. There's no errors. And here, any moment now, we should get an email from our bot. I'll go ahead and click refresh. And look at that. We have an inquiry message saying, hey, thanks for reaching out. 
And that is it. Now we have a live AI automation to handle our email marketing. And that is it for this tutorial, guys. If you found this video helpful, like, share, comment. If you didn't find it helpful, or if you don't like the video, I don't care. Awesome. Thanks. I will see you in my next video.